Hello everybody, it's me, Alexis Mateo. Bonjour, it is also me, Nikki Doll. <laughs> I was in a freak accident with a truck full of battle and I had to eat my way out. So I am here, I may look a bit different. It's me, Rock'em Sakura. In case we didn't get the joke across, it's me, Rock'em Sakura. <laughs> and welcome to our Fashion Photo Review, Holland! Woo! Come on, Drag Race Holland! I mean, come on, Drag Race Holland! Now, sit down, wow! Hi everyone, Nikki Doll here. I am currently on tour in the UK with Brooklyn Heights for our show Chicago. So I am sadly not available to do fashion photo review, but I sent over my good Judy Rockham Sakura to entertain you with Alexis Matero. So ladies, take it over. I miss you and I'll be back soon. Mwah. So Nikki's not with us on this one, but I'm so excited to have you here, Rock. Thank you for having me. You look gorgeous. Thank you, you look gorgeous too. This is green with MB. And you look like candy, I love that. Like cotton <laughs> candy fantasy. Bam! So today we have the makeover challenge. This is the episode where we get to transform our beloved ones on Holland. So everybody that is getting transformed by the girls is related to the girls in some kind of way. I really love all the looks this season. I'm very excited to see what these girls are gonna bring out on the runway. Did you ever get to do a makeover challenge in your season? <laughs> no, I didn't. I only last. She, she's laughing because she knows I went home for it, okay? She's like, did you ever get there? No, bitch. I barely got in the entrance and then they kicked me off. Season two of Holland is turning the party sickening now. Sickening now? Sickening now? <laughs> yes! Bring on the girls! The category is Roots. First up is My Little Pony and Sus Kim. Oh. This might just be me, but I really like that hair that the sister is <laughs> wearing for some reason. Oh, girl. I don't know. I think she's got good taste, mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like kind of like bodysuit realness. We have ankle strap boots, comic print, and they look like they're kind of about to lip sync for their life. I love that it looks like it's newspaper. The print of it and comic book. I love the combination of the um, vinyl, black vinyl, da. And of course, I like that it's a lot of details, even though it's just a top and a panty. And neither one of them is exactly the same. My little pony's ass looks kind of saggy here, but I'm gonna let it go. This silhouette of like this little pizza slice thong <laughs> into like this little underlined <laughs> underbutt is not very flattering. It definitely gives like my grandma's naked sitting on the newspaper <laughs> sort of look. I think that the family resemblance is there but I feel like it's kind of a little bit safe. Besides the wardrobe malfunction, it looks really good. I definitely think the sister looks better. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's kind of underwhelming to me. We have seen this done in several nightclubs around the country. It's not a new silhouette. Do they look together? Yeah, definitely. Do they look cute? Yes, I know it's a malfunction in the back of my little pony, but it's no excuse for her ass to look like Pancakes, girl. <laughs> I take pride on my ass, so if you are gonna have a costume malfunction, your ass better look good, baby. Other than that, everything else is great. It's a two. Two. Bring the next victim. <laughs> <laughs> Tabitha and Zeus Germain. The butterfly effect, baby. So Germain is Tabitha's sister. Oh my, okay. They surely got fabric on their arms. <laughs> it's great. Oh, sh it's karate fighter and everything. She's fighting the fashion. I have to start on this one. Yes, hands <laughs> okay, down. Please. When you transform in somebody, it's kind of difficult to have them at the same level of your drag. This is so disconnected in so many forms. I don't see family resemblance at all. And what bothers me the most is that your sister silhouette don't look right to me. If you're going to do some sort of bodysuit for any challenge, sew it up before you go on. It looks too wrinkly. The swimsuit doesn't fit. It's a lot of issues in the waist section. That harsh as black hairline don't go with nothing. If you're gonna have something like this, the nude illusion needs to be a nude illusion, not just like a beige panel is too, <laughs> there's too much of a dis disconnect. 
I also believe that this is another very simple and very basic look. This was a missed opportunity with her body and her face. I'm not even a fan of this makeup at all. There's no purpose to have this like flowy, sheer butterfly print in here. The butterfly motif isn't even used in the rest of the outfit at all. What I like about is her legs, but she brought that with her, so we cannot even say anything, so it is what it is. She looks good, her makeup looks good, her hair looks good, her silhouette looks good, but together it's a disconnection, and it's a lot of fitting issues. And the fabric is ugly. The fabric is gross. <laughs> The minute you went to the fabric store and you saw that sheer butterfly fabric, you should have went, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> At least make it like a nice large coat or add a couple of like butterflies in the hair, add butterflies on the outfit, anything like that. It just feels like you're wearing two different things. It feels like a bodysuit and maybe like some sort of moo moo, or you fell into like a tablecloth or something. This family, I can clearly see that the best attributes are the legs, baby. Between the sister and Tavata, this girl's got legs for days, baby. Also, these nude shoes are just not doing it. <laughs> it's like the worst of 90s drag. Oh my God, and you know what? That's the only thing that is actually working for me. That's the clear the shoes. Shoe. But this look is no, so I'm gonna give it a two. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I was about to say, oh, can I leap through the camera and you choke said, Alexis? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a boot. It's a boot. I feel so much better now that we boot somebody, so bring back the next girl. <laughs> Alexis is out for blood. <laughs> Kira Minaj and her mother, Joyce. Baby. Oh, this is so pretty. This is awesome. Oh my God. Oh, come on, mother. Oh my God. I am loving this so much. This is full. Full fantasy, girl. Yeah, full fantasy and full family resemblance, too. Okay, I just died and went to Mortal Kombat heaven, bitches. <laughs> Because <laughs> this is, <laughs> I am literally witnessing a part two of Mortal Kombat drag in space, baby. This is gorgeous. This is magic to me. I absolutely love how it's basically the same concept for each outfit, but they're executed differently. This hair Mama Joyce has on, baby. This is stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the color piece on Miss Minaj. And I like how the shoulder silhouette from that collar is also apparent in the mother with the cape. The gold, white, and red color scheme works very well. They thought of the color scheme together cohesively. Both of them look equally as gorgeous. No one outshines the other one, but the attention to detail with the mother's outfit is incredible. This is what I want to see. I want to see full family resemblance. I want to see a story. And I want to see these girls looking like they belong in the same movie. And this is it, baby. This is like opulent. Corsets, gorgeous. Outfits, gorgeous. Collars, gorgeous. And you can tell that's her mommy. What I really, really love and appreciate because it's, it's still your mama on in full drag, you know? All the details with the nails make it so impactful. I definitely think this is an interesting silhouette and it's done really, really, really tastefully. This look looks expensive. The mom's cape is lined up in beautiful glitter gold. The details on the beading, both outfits have beautiful hand beading on it. And girl, the girl is wearing red mink. I thought that was an Elmo. <laughs> Tickle her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is a shoot for me. Shoot it, baby. I love this. Next up, Popeye's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa and her partner Stevie. And they're giving us Greek goddess sort of realness, season five promo look. <laughs> she's been shot in the heart by Cupid's arrow and she's in love. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm kind of in love with this too. It really is easy to up Grecian goddess like sort of looks. It's easy to make it look droopy. It's easy to make it look too extra, too flowy. The outfits are a very costume party to me. They are well done, but it's giving me costume party. 
It could have gone so wrong, so fast, but it does look very well. The silhouette and the way that they chose to like drape these outfits is very flattering for Vanessa. Her partner though, I'm not sure how big her shoulders are, but <laughs> I feel like the top is a little frumpy. Right. It's a little too much, especially with the wings. I would have taken the wings off of the partner because the wings in the back, I would have added the wings maybe to like the top of their head, like their headpiece, because it would have kind of brought everything outward. More goddesses, yeah. I feel like the whole Cupid story was unnecessarily because the wings and all that is taken away from the silhouette of her partner, Stevie, and it's not giving it to me. Other than that, it's really cute. They do have a good family resemblance. Vanessa is a very feminine girl. She looks gorgeous. She's always stunning. I knew she was gonna do a great job on her partner when it comes to makeup. But I also feel like she did a great job in herself and not as a great job on him. But they do great together, they're clean, and I think they did a good job. I'm going to give it a toot. But it's a soft toot, okay? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a toot for me. <laughs> you thought about it. I, I did think about it, I did think about it because well, because she looks better than the girl that she was supposed to be making over. And I think it's, it's, it is a challenge to make you both look equally as good. All right, our next look is gonna be the Countess and Brendan Lott. Oh, okay, this makeup is freaking sickening. Okay, the party girls are in the house, baby. So this is full American Horror Story Countess sort of story, devil in black sort of storyline. I don't think you got the story. Let me explain this story to you. Okay, what's the story? Blair Sinclair and Miss Fane went to a wedding and they <laughs> have to wear black. So this is They it. went to Nikki's baby yeah, shower. They went to Nikki's baby shower. They got some <laughs> rum illegally on their party and they're drinking as they go down the wrong way. When you first see them, they look together. Anybody's family wedding will have these bride mates in their party. They kind of like cousins or friends or something is related in this party. The outfits could have had a bit more dimension. Her outfit on her partner looks kind of like straight up and down. There's no variety in the silhouette. It just looks like a stick with big hair. Right. The dresses are not the same, but they look like each other. <laughs> And it's very pretty because they have lots of details and they fit them beautifully. The fitting can make you or break you in a look. And this is one of them. I think they look beautiful. I think they look expensive. I think it's very clean. I think it's really pretty. They do have a good family resemblance. They look like mischievous twins in like a horror movie. I wish the hair and the frame was a little bit smaller for her body. Besides the body and like the loss of silhouette, I do think that it has a good story to it. And I think they look great. I'm gonna give it a two. That's a two for me too, for Brooklyn Heights and other Brooklyn Heights. <laughs> Aquaria. Good job, Aquaria. <laughs> Next up is Vivaldi and her mama. Wow! Oh, this I love this! Oh, they, the bitch this stole your so look! This is so cool! The bitch stole your look, Rock. And she can steal it all she wants. It looks so good on her. Her mom looks so cool in fashion forward. Ah! Ah! Titties! Titties and all that. Okay, let me tell you how gorgeous her mom makeup is done. So good. She looks stunning, she looks young, she looks fresh. I love the details with the wigs, that they look just like it, but they're completely different. I totally see who's the mom and who's the uh, daughter quickly, and I also see the same family in the same movie. This is just gorgeous from head to toe. This soft Easter day colors work for me all the time together, and this is beautiful. To get your mom to look this good in the main runway is gorgeous. Like, And the whole outfit is crocheted. Oh, the boobs are crocheted too. Yeah, the whole That's look. That's so funny. <laughs> it's attention to detail. From the shoes, the socks, the split, the top, bracelets, hair, everything is done to perfection on her mom. And also as her, and that little surprise reveal, when she take off the DTs, baby. Her tetas. Oh my God, it's 
so campy, so much fun. This was a great presentation. This look has so much character and personality that's also been put on her mother. It's like a cool contemporary maximalism sort of look that she's placed on her mother. It's very Japanese kawaii decor, Harajuku and her mother looks good in it. That's the main thing. Yes. The family resemblance is there. It's really driven in hard with the silhouettes of their outfit, especially with the adult baby fetish kind of dress that she's wearing. And her mother has more of like a matronly A-line skirt sort of situation. <laughs> Obviously you guys know me and my fashion. Of course I would like this. This is a shoot. Yeah, I'm very impressed with her mom transformation. Now I'm not gonna shoot it for one little detail. She's wearing black fishnets. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what he ruins my whole entire like soft palette colors fantasy. So it's kind of like a this this connection between the panty and the shoes right there. Just because that black fishnet that she's wearing. Other than that, I think she did a great job. So this is gonna be a high toot. Trend alert! <laughs> Big mommy milkers <laughs> made from the fabric store. A hundred percent cotton titties. <laughs> <laughs> Our top two of the week is Kita Minaj and her mother Joey. Come on, Kita Minaj and her mama Joyce. Baby, they turn it Mortal Kombat style, baby. It was beautiful from head to toe. It looks expensive. Attention to detail. It looks fascinating. Fantasy in your face. Just completely family resemblance and just impeccable makeup and silhouette. So yes, they deserve it. Good job, Kita Minaj. Don't forget Fridays is Drag Race Holland. In the Netherlands, you can catch it at Videoland. And anywhere outside of the Netherlands, you can always watch it on WOW Presents Plus. Yes. Wow, what a coincidence. That's also where the Rock'em Sakura Sexy Superhero Sickening Spectacular lives. <laughs> what a coincidence. You should watch that too. And she plug for free. <laughs> We're getting there, people. Almost the end of Drag Race Holland and it's getting super cute. So stay watching with us. It's sickening. No? Always. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Bam! 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 Nikki, I want you to come home, puppy! Bam! Act the fool, girl, act the fool. <laughs>